Hey everybody, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com helping you create something awesome today. So in today's Adobe InDesign tutorial, we're gonna be looking at threaded text, why we use it, and how we can use it really easily and incorporate that into our layouts for things like trifolds, brochures, PDF portfolios, things like that. And I'm gonna just walk you through it because it's really something easy that a lot of people don't take advantage of and they end up laying out their text the hard way. So the way threaded text works is this text is just one continuous text blocks going from one column to the next split up across the whole thing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this right now to show you how we take a single block of text and we stretch it out across three columns seamlessly for our story. So the first thing we're going to do is actually, instead of uh, deleting that, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to pages, I'm gonna duplicate our spread and I'm going to show you um, how to do this so that we can compare it to the end result. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to delete. Let's just go ahead and delete all of this and we'll just get our images in here again later. So we're gonna go ahead and create a text frame. We're gonna go ahead and use shortcut T or use the uh, icon for text. And we're just gonna create a text block here. And since we're using sample text, we're just gonna go up to type and fill with placeholder text. So you can see that that created our placeholder text. Now, we need to make this fit within the context of our different columns. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go ahead and just uh, shorten this up so that we can go ahead and fit our images. So we're just gonna go ahead and select both of these images. We're going to use um, Command C, which is Control C if you're on Windows, and then we're gonna use shift command alt or shift control alt and v to paste in place onto a, a new document so if you've never done that before that's another trick you can use and that will help you just duplicate and paste those things in place so now we have our text here and we want to go ahead and we want to put it across these columns but we want to continue the story you notice that it gets cut off here so we're going to hit the plus sign right here in the text thread and this is what's gonna to start to create our threaded text. So then we're gonna draw the text block and it's gonna continue the story. And you can see that that goes ahead and that fills up that text. Now we still have more text for the story here. So we're just gonna hit the plus sign again. And we're going to draw our third text column. And you see that that continues it. Now in this case, we still have some text here that's not showing up. So we're going to use uh, Command A, Control if you're on Windows, and we're going to use our shortcut for reducing the text size. In this case, it's gonna be Shift, Command, and Alt, and the less than sign. And we made that too small, so we're going to just take our fingers off Alt, and we're going to use the greater than sign, and we're just gonna size that accordingly. So now we're going to use Alt, and the down arrow key, to increase the line spacing there. So now we've done some temp simple typography in terms of the shortcuts, and we've managed to use threading text effectively. Now let's say if we want to delete an entire paragraph from here and replace it with something else, if we do that, you can see that it affects our entire story here. So that's how threaded text works, and that's the benefit and the beauty of it. If you make changes, if you get rid of sentences, if you alter it, it will space and will adjust accordingly. And that's what we want so that we don't have to adjust every single column every single time that we make a change. So that's how we have a continuous story or an article and you know continuing flowing paragraphs and how we do it. So then if we just want to decide that we want to break some things up and space out some paragraphs, no problem. It does that effectively for us. And it does it throughout the entire document. So this, again, comes in a lot of handy if you're doing a brochure, if you're doing a trifold, if you're doing a presentation of some kind, then this is very effective and very helpful for you so you can maintain your article and the information and not have to overthink the design of it when it comes to, okay, I've changed something, now I have to change across three columns. It does it automatically. So that's how you'll want to handle threading text, and that is how you utilize it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you now have a better understanding of how to use 
threaded text in Adobe InDesign. If you still have questions, leave those in the comment section below and I'll try and answer as many of them as I can. If you wanna see other InDesign tutorials from me, also let me know that in the comment section and I will try to create those for you according to what you need. Keep in mind, you don't have to have InDesign CC. I just happen to be using InDesign CC 2014, but this feature is native to nearly all versions of Adobe InDesign. I know for a fact you can use it from CS3 through CS6. So if you're using an older version of InDesign for any reason, bear in mind that you can follow along this tutorial just fine and that you can do the same techniques that I just did. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, create something awesome today.